game one, they've opted for Final Destination, and this is a stage I believe that favors both of these characters immensely. With a character like Guninja, he's able to just like really, really run you along and capitalize on your mediocre landing. And yeah. Well, the thing is, so normally one of the best strengths for Lucina on a stage like this, there is two. One is the ledge trapping, and the other is the juggling. However, Guninja is honestly one of the best characters in the game at landing. Just yeah. having great air speed, great fastball speed, and some quick options to get down, back down to the ground. Yep. And not, don't forget about counter. There, are, It's going to be pretty difficult for Mr. E to continuously keep uh, Venia in the air. And the down tilt to up smash was absolutely lethal, knocking Mr. E quite up. But Mr. E, ready to retort back with his pivot cancel F tilt, just throwing Venia off stage. But Venia is still able to reassert stage control. Mr. E not accounting for the tech roll, and unfortunately not being able to get the punish. And Venia getting the raw down and unable to follow up with another forward and back hit. Oh, that was so good from Venia. <laughs> just making sure to like pay attention to Mr. Yep. E's up. Panic options in the corner. Wow, what an aggressive up air to come back. And this could be huge for Mr. E. Yep. And he gets the stock going way deep. Seeing that shuriken, knowing that there's enough lag on it, that he can actually convert a stock off of a kind of a little bit of a mistake like that from uh, Venya. Now you see Venya, he's starting to look for those tilts. He's trying to look to get something started, but unfortunately Mr. E died really, really beautifully to his circum effect. The forward air and was able to get the counter off, but Venia with the forward throw on deck, able to propel Mr. E into the blast zone, thus evening up the game. And right away, those landing forward is coming from Mr. E, just like doing so much work. Oh, and, and he's dead! Wow. He's just gone. Venia gonna be losing that stock to that beautifully placed shield breaker. Mr. E is looking like he's in a commanding position right here, especially considering the fact when this game started, Venia seemed to be uh, doing all right for himself, but not quite so much anymore. Yep. Then right off the bat, like Venia, like it's again like when Venia is losing his stocks really early, you just see like him sort of turning up the fashion. Mr. E, I love the patience, but catching Venia's mash, air dodge out of the downfield and just no, able yeah, but to if you think about it, in that position, a lot. Greninja doesn't really have a down air he can use to combo break in there. So yeah. if he just sits there, if he just waits, like, what can he actually be threatened by from yep. Greninja? I'm so surprised that the win box actually didn't interact with uh, Mr. Izapi, which is very, very fortunate for him. Not so much for Venia. Puroil is chasing him with down tilt, looking like Rob right now. Venia landing with the down air and going unpunished for it. Mr. E trying to get the tech chase with the grab, but missing it and then losing the stock. Venia at 92%, definitely not where he wants to be, but slowly trying to bring it back. But Mr. E is not going to let that happen, so as long as he has a grab and a back throw available to him. All right, now, I got to say two things. One, we've seen Venia do some crazy comebacks, so do not count this lad out just yet. Yep. And the other thing is, the way that he's approaching the neutral right now is he's just barely waiting, he's microspacing, just barely waiting for these moves from Mr. E. But landing oh. with the neutral air does not yield the death quite yet. And Mr. E was ready to jump in back here, but I love the fact that Venia preemptively released a shuriken, but the falling forward will be enough to take out the stop. I won. Venia, I mean, Mr. E was playing so on point there. He was like, the way, I think Venia needs to quickly check the sorts of predicaments that he's putting himself into by using the shuriken like that. Because by the way he's using the shuriken, he was letting Mr. E rush him down or set up a little bit better at ledge. Also, he was doing a really good job, especially in that last stock, of just barely staying outside. Like, he would like, just like, Avoid a down tilt by pixels and then counter with a down tilt of his own. And then, as soon yep. as he would, uh, at the end, he lost to a back air because he went for an aggressive option, that neutral air. So, this time around, maybe, especially against a character like Lucina, where it can be difficult to, even when you like run up in shields, just hit your shield and then it's fine. Yep. And I really love the fact how Mr. E used his counter there because it would have been virtually unpunishable for Venia since he would have dipped a little bit too far below the stage for Venia to actually um, be in the 
space where he could present any sort of danger to Mr. E. Regardless, Mr. E is bringing us back despite the 82% stock deficit with those uh, really, really great use of the forwarders. Trying to go for the pivot cancel F tilt, but actually being slapped back with oh. Venya's own F tilt. And Venya trying to go for the really, really hard commitment for the down smash, but Mr. E. I also just want to point out Mr. E air dodge down and away. Yeah. Which was, like, sometimes, when it, like, it was just really smart because if he'd air dodge just down, he would have gotten hit by that down smash. So good awareness of the exact punishes that. Venia was likely to go for in that situation. But Venia is able to get a down air and effectively knock Mr. E off stage. It was really, really smart for Venia not to hold shield there because that could have actually spelled a very, very, very different situation right now. Regardless, both of these characters are really, really even right now. Nobody necessarily has a positional advantage because the ninja actually wants to be landing on opponents occasionally. I just love the way that in neutral between these two guys, they'll like move and move and move and move and then just stop. Yep. They'll just like stay in place. You know, they're moving to try and like get their opponent to do something. And then they stop and wait to see what they're actually going to do. Yep. And they're both doing this, not necessarily at the same time, but. Regardless, right now, Mr. E is really, really best with little shield breaks, but he also has to consider the fact that he's already revealed his little uh, his little bag of tricks already multiple times. One Venya already got punished for it. So you really know Venya is going to be looking out for it. But wow. wow, beautiful stuff from Mr. E. Do you see just the way he back air hurt before that? Whoa. The way, did you see the way he just like drifted in with the wind box and used the second jump? He just like flew right back onto the stage for free. But right now, Mr. E's lead was growing up until Venya landed that forward, effectively resetting the neutral. And right now, Mr. E is trying to get something started with that landing up there, but Venya not having any of it, recording with his own dash attack. Those down touch. airs have caught caught uh, Venya quite a few times. And the big thing is it's that back hitbox of that down You yeah. have to be aware of it. Because not only is it <laughs> like it's bigger than you think, it hits behind him, but he's been able to get follow-ups off of it. We yep. saw a down air to grab before. Right there, I forget what he comboed it into, but and is that yep. death? Oh my sweet, Mr. E looking in phenomenal form right now. <gasps> but Venio ready no to jump. call out the jump with the back out. And right now this is super <gasps> dangerous for Mr. Going e. Back to stage. Oh, no. Very, very unfortunate for Venio that Mr. E trying to end it all with its with a down air, but Venya properly mixing up his timing on the upbeat so as not to fall susceptible to such an awful fate. Spacing that dash attack perfectly on a shield, not crossing up, not leaving him privy to any uppies out of shield, but still perfectly, perfectly safe. And that is going to be the stock. Venya is closing this off. He does not want to be losing game two right here, but Mr. E is securing this lead for himself. Every single little bit of damage counts. Keep in mind, this is our zero weekly, so we only do best two out of three here. The winner of this, like if, if uh, Mr. E can close out this game, that's it, he's in grand finals. Oh. The patience what? from Venya there, he didn't want to convert off of that down tilt, but as a result, he was not able to get any Well, you have to remember that. Uh, Lucina upbeat. Yep. It's just, it comes out so fast that uh, if you're not completely sure that you can get a punish, that would lose oh, in the game. And he falling out of Venya's up here, very, very unfortunate. And I love that Venya did that because it was almost completely safe. Lucina could not contest the drift downwards of the counter. He was definitely safe. Regardless, Venya's playing this so, so patiently. Oh man! And if you're Mr. E, there's one play where you're really scared to lose. Like, like if in this position, Venia is still an absolute threat. And that but is the down air. We saw him go for it quite a few times. There he lands it to close out the set. Mr. E is going to be yep. in grand finals, winner side. Now Venia has to duke it out with whoever uh, ends up facing him in losers yep. finals. And so I'm not sure we actually have somebody for. Lose. No, we don't have anybody for 